To balance this equation, we have Zn plus P, and that gives us this Zn3P2. Zinc plus phosphorus gives us zinc phosphide. Let's count the atoms up, balance the equation. We have one zinc, one phosphorus. On the product side, we have three zincs and two phosphorus atoms. So because the zinc and the phosphorus, they're all by themselves, it's really easy to balance because when we change the coefficient here, it doesn't change anything else. So if I put a three in front of the zinc, one times three, that'll give me three zinc atoms. So zinc is balanced. Phosphorus, I need two. So I'll put a coefficient of two, one times two, that'll give me two phosphorus atoms. And this equation's balanced. If we look at the reactants, we have three zinc atoms and the products, three zinc atoms. If we look at the phosphorus, we have reactants, two phosphorus, product, two phosphorus. So it's a balanced equation. These are the correct ratios of the atoms in this equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equations for Zn plus P yields Zn3P2. Thanks for watching.